I'm here at Freightliner again because my front left is doing the shimmy shake and the clunky clank. I know I mentioned it in my last couple of videos, so we're here today. Um, I got here about 9.30 in the morning because I dropped my load pretty early and they got me unloaded pretty quick. So I came down from Longview and... Freightliner can't get me in until around afternoon, which it just hit 12 o'clock right now. So, um, I was going to try and get family to pick me up, but there were some other things going on. So, unfortunately, even though they're close, <laughs> I was then thinking, oh, hey, well, I could just grab an Uber, go do my shopping real quick. Oh, poopers, I can't because I can't leave the dog in the truck in case they take it into the shop while I'm gone. So I get to sit and wait, and after I'm finished here, then I can just go ahead and do some personal time and go do my shopping, because my refrigerator is getting kind of empty. <laughs> so it's time to replenish the stock. I'm getting stir crazy. I'd rather be rolling. So <laughs> yesterday I had a new symptom-ish because I had a lot of traffic ahead of me that all kind of came to a screeching halt and when I tried to come to a screeching halt it shimmied and shake real bad and then pulled to the left and I was in the middle lane so that was a little freaky um, told my yard guy right away it was like okay now it's pulling to the left when it's heavy which is never good so this is after we had the brakes adjusted all the way around tractor and trailer um, I couldn't find anything wrong with it, but it's it's obviously got something like that. It's just, you know when you get paid and it's like burning a hole in your pocket? <laughs> There's like a few things I really want to get and it's like right there and I can't, I can't run off and go do it right now. So I'm chomping at the butt. I'm hurt. I'm hoping that it'll hurry and we can get it all taken care of relatively fast. And so in the meantime... There's my number on my windshield at the Freightliner. Waiting for somebody to come and get my truck. I was really hoping this wasn't going to be an all day thing, but I'm so bored I'm repeating myself and doing multiple video takes. If I can get the brake situation figured out, I'm starting to already like see it coming from a mile away. There's going to be something else that happens to this one, so. They finally took my truck in about two. All right, guys, so obviously not in the truck today. I'm actually really happy about this. Um, not happy and happy. <clears throat> so it gives me an opportunity to go home for the weekend. Problem is they, they found the issue with the brake, so that's good. The components that attach to the back of the actual brake pad are basically just really wore out, and it wasn't braking the way it was supposed to. So the compression was there, the pressure was there. But because of it being loose fit and wore out on the back of the actual pad, it wasn't hitting properly on the rotor or on the drum rather. Sorry. So basically what that boiled down to was, okay, by the time we got the diagnosis, it was almost five o'clock. So their main people were pretty much just going to take off because it was the end of their work day. But that meant that today being Saturday and tomorrow, there's nobody to go get the kit from the other location. So they're not going to be able to fix it until Monday. So I got the weekend free. Um, I went home, my, my mom and my aunt came and picked me up. So that was cool. And I got to go home for the weekend. Okay. So I actually just got the invite, uh, to come on in the main farmhouse just because they're making breakfast this morning. Since everybody's home, this is kind of the weekend tradition. Um, cause my brother and my dad and my mom and everybody's there in the farmhouse and 
Grandma's not quite up yet, so I'll see her later this afternoon. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get some food in my belly and get the game plan for if they need my help on anything. All right, so now that breakfast is over, which is also another reason it's awesome to come home, um, my mom makes amazing breakfast. <laughs> so I am going to try and investigate a little bit because I've got um, the carport that my mom ordered to try and put my pickup under so that way it's undercover. So back in here, you see the scamp trailer, that's my mom's. But these boxes right here, I need to go through and figure out which one's mine and start pulling out the posts because you can see this one, it, basically we're just gonna set them right next to each other. So the trailer stays in this one and then the other one is actually going to go in this space. I may have to grab my dad for a hand because it's going to take more than just me to get the thing set up. So I'm going to start grabbing a few different things to at least get everything set out and start assembling. enough from the wind catching them and just general wear and tear, they have a tendency to start sagging in between each one of these poles. So the idea is, because Baylor's twine is some really incredibly strong stuff and it lasts an unbelievably long amount of time, I'm going to use this stuff, tie it off through the center, and then tie it off to each side to give it a little bit more support throughout the entire length of the carport that way it won't get any water sagging which causes them to tear and end up leaking prematurely so i think you get the general idea I know, nothing spectacular. Oh boy, a cork carport. Yeah, well, um, so the other reason we do this is because we learned the hard way, at least where I live, not only is it the heavy rain and the wind, because it pushes all this, so we have to use very heavy weight, tethered, because the stakes didn't work, they kept pulling out. And all of these Baylor's twine rafters there's about five per 
section is because when it snows real heavy out here, we were ripping through our tarps. So we got a little bit smarter about it. So now, time to put my pickup to bed. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's my hitch. Doesn't quite fit all the way into the carport, but at least it keeps all the important parts covered, right? Yeah, she's a bit long. Well, that's okay. I'm just happy it's in undercover, at least for the majority of it. And honestly, I could probably bring down the tarp and just fasten it, letting it lay over the top of the, the bumper. Because it's really the bumper that makes it like another foot and a half longer. So, yeah. Um, at least I've got it in undercover now, so storage is looking good. And it's all anchored so the wind won't take off with it and it won't push it up against the side of the truck. So, yay! Alright, so now that the general chores are done, I'm not going to show you guys the next stuff that I'm doing. One, because dinner is going to be ready here in a minute. And then tomorrow is pretty much going to be like Walmart shopping. It's not entertaining at all. So... <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and sign off for this video. So guys, stay posted for the next one. I'll let you guys know as soon as I know what the progress report is on the repairs on my truck. Stay tuned. Please make sure to get your notifications. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. See you next time.